Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and Google released the Developer 2 preview of Android N to select Nexus devices. I have it running on my Nexus 6P, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what's new. You'll see folders now look a tad bit different. They are round in shape, and you can view four app icons in each folder, even though a portion of each icon is cut off. Now, I'm not a big fan of this design, but let me know your thoughts in a comment below. Now is your chance to speak up because Google will probably change the appearance if a vast majority of users dislike how they look in this preview. In the Google Now Launcher, you can now add shortcuts to specific areas in other apps to your home screens. The best way to show this feature is with the Settings app, as it is the only app that takes advantage of this new feature as of right now. Um, you can see here, you can add a dedicated shortcut to the battery section or the Bluetooth section or the data usage section from the Settings app. It's totally up to you which section you want to create a shortcut to. Uh, in the future though, you'll be able to link to specific contacts in um, the Messenger app, or you can link to specific people you are talking to uh, through Facebook Messenger and so on. It's really up to developers and how they want to take advantage of this feature uh, in their apps. If we pull down the notification tray and look at the quick settings section, you will now see an option to add a shortcut for the calculator app, which is pretty neat for all the math junkies out there. If you open up the overview multitasking tray, you'll see a clear all option at the very top of the list. I think the reason it's at the very top of the list is so that you don't accidentally press it when you open up this tray. But with a ton of apps open in the background, it could make reaching it a little bit of a pain. So um, I would suggest maybe moving it down to the bottom of the list. Now, if you're an emoji junkie like myself, you'll be happy to see some fresh new emojis. Android's slogan is be together, not the same. So they've added a ton of new human emojis Family emojis and human emojis with various skin tones will be coming soon as well. There is a new bacon emoji, which is pretty important if you ask me. This is way overdue. In the settings app, you'll see some new icons in the left-hand side and next to each section, some of which are colored. It's nice to see some extra splash of color in here if you ask me. If you go to the users section in the settings app and then to the emergency information section, you'll see two new tabs of information, info and contacts. You could add a contact in the contacts section, and then you could add all sorts of critical information like your allergies, your blood type, your date of birth, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, just in case something goes wrong, this information will be good to uh, give to paramedics or uh, first responders. Now, I hope nobody will need this info, but it's good to have just in case something happens. With the Dev Preview 2, Google fixed the YouTube multitasking bug. So you can now watch and or listen to a YouTube video while multitasking, while taking advantage of the split screen feature. What's also neat is that if you're watching YouTube and you have the Messenger app open as the other split screen app, you can reply to somebody without it pausing the video and it works without requiring a YouTube Red subscription. The Developer Preview 2 features Vulkan support, which is a 3D rendering API designed to take better advantage of multi-core processors. So in theory, games and graphic intensive applications should perform much better running on Android N. But besides all of the various bug fixes here and there, those are all the new features and the design changes in the developer preview two of Android N. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you're brand new. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDag.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.